This week, zero-day vulnerabilities in storage devices, hacking all the things on the internet or not, VMware sucks at key management, the importance of security on airplanes, and a bug in PHP application. All that and more on this edition of Hack Naked News. This is a Security Weekly production. This episode of Hack Naked News is brought to you by IT Pro TV, an easy, entertaining approach to online IT training. Access over 2,000 hours of up to date, high quality video content live and on demand via Chromecast, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, PC, or your mobile device. IT Pro TV's premium membership grants access to all courses, transcripts, virtual machine labs, and transcender practice exams. Corporate and group pricing are available. For a free seven day trial, and 30% off the life of your account, visit itpro.tv forward slash hack naked and use the code HN30. Do you have a website, an external presence, employees, an office? Any of these can be compromised and attacked. How are you defending these assets? Have you penetration tested them? Start 2017 by taking a proactive approach to your vulnerable areas. Black Hills Information Security has been helping companies find their weaknesses since 2008. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to see how they can help you sleep better at night. Tenable Network Security, creators of Nessus, the world's best vulnerability scanner. Jumpstart your security program today and evaluate Security Center CV, the continuous security monitoring solution. For more information, visit them on the web at tenable.com. Logarithms Netmon Freemium delivers real-time network visibility to quickly identify emerging threats in your IT environment. Netmon Freemium is a free commercial-grade network forensics and traffic analytics solution. You can use Netmon Freemium powerful capabilities to search against all of observed network traffic, identify abnormal traffic patterns and application usage, and quickly analyze full packet captures. Take the first step towards real-time network visibility. Visit logarithm.com forward slash freemium to learn more and download it today. Has your network been breached? Cyber Reason can help you answer this question. Cyber Reason products hunt for threats within your network and eliminate them in real time. To Cyber Reason, real time means within seconds. Founded by former military hackers who don't play by the rules, they've built this experience into their platform. Harness ingenuity and imagination, not just code, to defeat hackers. Cyber Reason. Disrupt the adversary and let the hunt begin. Welcome everyone to Hack Naked News episode 105. I'm your host, Paul Asadarian, broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios in Rhode Island. A quick update from our fine sponsors, IT Pro. You can find them at itpro.tv. They've got some upcoming courses in Cybersecurity Analyst Plus, CCNA Cyber Ops, ITIL Operation Support and Analysis, and much more. IT Pro is introducing a new membership level on February 1st. All current premium members as of February 1st will be granted the highest membership level available. So sign up today at itpro.tv forward slash hack naked and use the code HN30. On to our fresh 2017 edition, the first one of the year, and our stories, uh, security news stories for this week start with QNAP storage devices. There is a heap overflow. It's a zero-day vulnerability and associated exploit that was revealed actually on December 31st, 2016, uh, and affects uh, many different QNAP storage devices. Knowledge of a valid username is required. However, knowledge of the password is not and the usernames are well known and defined in the exploit that was posted to bug track uh, late last year. Successful exploitation provides the attacker with a root shell on affected devices, because there's nothing better than a root shell. No word on a patch from the vendor just yet. However, probably not a good idea to expose the admin interfaces of your devices to the internet. I also recommend, if the device allows it, that users change to the default usernames in addition to the default passwords on IoT devices. 
Largely, my advice on the subject goes ignored. So we'll continue to report on these devices on the show. Um, proof that it's easy to screw up authentication and encryption, VMware has patched VDP, that's vSphere Data Protection, ironically enough, uh, to change the private SSH key and associated passphrase on deployment. Apparently, VMware used the same key and passphrase on all deployed devices, affecting all current versions of VDP. An attacker with access to this key can unlock administrative uh, interfaces for VDP and gain, you guessed it, root privileges. It's amazing how flaws such as these still slip through the cracks and vendors use the same key on all these devices. Now, the fix will change it upon deployment from what I read today which means if you already have these devices deployed, you may want to go change your SSH private key and set a new passphrase. Uh, PHP Mailer could put your website at risk. It's actually a pretty awesome vulnerability uh, that was disclosed this week. It's a two-stage attack requiring an, a, an email to be sent with some special options and some PHP code in the body. Once that email is then processed by the server, the attacker then needs to trigger log files to be read, and from there the code is executed, providing you with a remote shell. Love these two-stage attacks. They're historically difficult to test for, but modern application scanners are catching on, as are security researchers. It's important to have a quality QA team and a penetration test by a professional human being to pick up these flaws um, as uh, not everyone follows this process. However, it is important as these two-stage attacks are, in my opinion, going to become more popular this year. Uh, a program has found a way to liberate ransomware Google smart TVs. That's right. This story shows you how to un-ransomware your Google TV. And what this means is your Google TV has essentially been compromised uh, by attackers that demand money if you want to watch TV again. Uh, this has been my fear for some time that attackers will figure out ways to monetize security vulnerabilities in IoT devices and ransomware in your TV is a shining example, uh, except this one's pretty easy to undo on your own. However, I believe this will be a continu continuing trend and hopefully raise awareness amongst consumers who will then hopefully by nature put pressure on IoT device manufacturers to apply at least some level of security. Once attackers start interfering with the device's function, all bets are off on people not caring about IoT security. And yes, that whole story was delivered from a utopian world where I believe people will actually care about the security of IoT devices. <clears throat> a new attack infecting uh, Android devices that then goes and attacks your wireless router. This is pretty awesome. Many of the articles offering advice on IoT devices today will tell you, hey, don't enable remote administration and never expose your device to the internet, and magically somehow you're secure. However, this is poor security. Obscuring the vulnerabilities will not protect you, especially when the attackers, in this case, uh, can be successful with doing things like um, brute force access to the network's router from your phone and then change your router's DNS settings to redirect traffic from devices connected to the network uh, to a rogue DNS server. This was reported by uh, security researchers at Kaspersky Labs. All bets are off. Attackers are going to find weaknesses in your IoT devices and exploit them for fun and profit. This is yet another attack vector that represents my worst fears coming true about IoT security. Thinking of investing in Bitcoin? Well, okay, probably most of us haven't really. Maybe we considered it, uh, but that time has passed. Uh, you're way too late on that front if you want to generate Bitcoin or make an investment in The value of Bitcoin has surged above $1,000 on Monday as the digital unit continues a dizzying rise that has made it the best performing currency of 2016. That's right, the best performing currency. <coughs> Excuse me. Its value has more than doubled in the last year and was trading at around $1,024, which is an ironic computer number, uh, after afternoon in Europe uh, and breaking through the $1,000 mark on Sunday. Um, White House fails to, uh, sorry, our next story. White House fails to make a case that Russian hackers tampered with the U.S. election. 
It turns out that attribution is hard, as most of us in the security community uh, communicated to everyone for since, well, the beginning of time, despite what the media wants you to believe. Ars Technica has reported that while security companies in the private sector have said for months the hacking campaign was the work of people working for the Russian government, anonymous people tied to, to the leaks have claimed they are lone wolves. Many independent security experts said there was little ways to know the true origins of the attack. Sadly, the JAR, or Joint Analysis Report, uh, as it's called, does little to end this debate. This was a report recently issued. Instead, this report, providing, uh, instead of providing smoking guns that the Russian government was behind specific hacks, it largely restates previous private sector claims without providing any support for their validity. Go figure. Uh, GoGo aims to provide more secure airline Wi-Fi. That's right. Airplane Wi-Fi provider GoGo has implemented a bug bounty program. This is interesting as over the years I've heard conflicting reports of how systems on aircraft are tied together and whether or not passengers could hack their way through the Wi-Fi and gain access to in-flight controls. I'm sure the answer is it depends, but it begs the question, how safe do you feel on an airplane with Wi-Fi provided by a company with a bug bounty? That's probably a moot point. For me, I'm really more concerned about turbulence affecting my ability to get a free cocktail. That's the news for this week. We'll see everyone on the next episode of Hack Naked News.